welcome, this is your team. We are so honored and excited to introduce the one and the only premiere that was recorded in Orlando, Florida at our Believe This Is It convention, guys. This is the one and only David Schmidt. That's right, the inventor of the X39, the owner of LifeWave is gonna be sharing with you how he came up with this incredible patented exclusive technology that is changing lives, bringing us to tears with what it's doing for people's lives and set everyone up with an incredible business opportunity through LifeWave. We can't wait to share this with you. Again, if you missed the Believe Convention, we've got Rise Up All Virtual yes. Convention happening January 10th and 11th, broadcasted live from Las Vegas. We want to get you and your team off on a fast track in 2025. Make sure you get your virtual ticket and have your team there. So hey, enjoy this pre-recorded premiere of David Schmidt, founder, CEO, and inventor of LifeWave. One, two, three. You guys are absolutely amazing. Number one team in the world. Number one team in the world. Our founder of the LifeWave company, the owner of LifeWave, the CEO and the inventor of the X39, and our friend, best of yet, our friend, David Schmidt. Yeah! Nothing happens in this company without great leadership. And, uh, you know, actually, while I do think of all of you as leaders, I really think of you all as being messengers of hope. And, uh, you know, we're told in the Bible that we should be a light on a hill. We've all met people that just struggled with energy and they're tired in the afternoon and they have to rely on stimulants. And these beacons of hope have been there to answer the call and be there to help people in need. We've all met people that were suffering with sleep and they had to rely on pharmaceutical drugs. But now these beacons of hope were there to help those people and have them get a good night's sleep. We've all met people, unfortunately, that were suffering in chronic pain and were living off of pharmaceutical drugs and didn't see any hope, but yet these beacons of hope were there to help those people overcome that pain. This is an enormous calling in life. It's something that we're really all compelled to do. There was uh, this man that lived 2,000 years ago. His name was Jesus Christ. And um, he asked us to do one thing very simple, which is to love others. And what he would do is he would go out and teach us about the kingdom of God and the kingdom of heaven. He would teach us that we should feed people that are hungry. He taught us that we should heal those that are sick and live a life of self-sacrifice so that we can help others in need and make this world a better place. And that's what I think of when I think of these leaders, that they're there to be these beacons of hope. They're there to help people in need. They're there to be an example, and they're, to, they're there to show that this world that we live in can be an amazing place. All we have to do is just care for one another and to be there for those in need. So please give a warm round of applause and let's give thanks to these amazing elite leaders that we have. Thank you, thank you Scott. Thank you, Anita. Thank you, Sahi. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. 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 Thank you, Steve. 
Love you too. Okay, we are so excited to have you, David, here. We got some questions all the leaders have put together, and I'm looking forward to uh, helping you answer them. But we're excited to have you here. Uh, I know you've been traveling. Uh, where have you been in Europe? Where have you been traveling? Tell them a little bit what we've been up to. I have a bone to pick with you. Yeah. Uh, you didn't tell me that we were following a comedian. You know, that's really <laughs> tough. That's really tough. And I don't know one joke. Uh, Oh, sorry. So that would be my complaint. Anything other than that, we're good. So don't worry. I'll answer whatever questions you have. Yeah, we've been, uh, we are so blessed. Everyone has been on the edge of their seat waiting for you to get here. So we're excited to uh, have you share. Are you excited to have him here? I'm really. <laughs> Come on. I'm very, thank you for inviting me. I'm so happy to be here. Yeah. It's, all, it's amazing. Yeah. Thank you. And we are, you know, you don't often get to sit with a gentleman that's got over 130 patents. Is that the number now? No. <laughs> uh, no, I, I, I stopped counting at 150. Uh, my, uncle, uh, my uncle Paul, who is a brilliant inventor, he did a lot of work uh, for our government, and he was developing semiconductors. So uh, all of you that have cell phones, it doesn't matter if it's an Apple or an Android, um, there are semiconductors that are in those phones that my uncle invented. Uh, and he had about 150 patents. So when I hit that number, I, I stopped counting. Wow. wow. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. Give him a hand. I mean, it's amazing. So, and you get to sit here and listen, chatting, like a fireside chat, and start learning of someone who took a company from nowhere, now knocking on over $400 million, going to a half a billion dollars. Uh, before the end of the year is our goal. Are you guys ready to help us hit that? Yeah. Wow. All right. So we're excited about that. Uh, so we got some questions put together. Tell them a little bit first about it. I love every time I share uh, the opportunity, I talk about you. And I talk about how you took this X39 uh, dream that you had, and it took you 10 years of research, over four and a half uh, million dollars of investment, the stamina, the grit, the stick to itness. Can you just uh, give them that kind of mindset because we don't want anyone left behind, but we want people to understand that sometimes you got to put some more effort into it to get to where you want to be. Maybe you got to change how you speak. Maybe you got to brush your teeth. Maybe you got to, uh, um, you know, not talk so much. You I mean, you know, everyone's got to do some kind of tweaking sometimes to get to accomplish their dream. Uh, tell them a little bit that kind of mindset that you were going through to get to that level and how long it took to get there. Yeah, you know, I would say that um, it's a really good thing to be challenged in life, uh, to encounter problems uh, and to encounter obstacles because it gives you an opportunity to grow as a human being and to think about things in an entirely different way. And LifeWave went through uh, two incredibly bad things, uh, one in 2006 and then the other, which was almost 10 years to the month in 2016, uh, where we went through this in 2006, it was a credit card scam. Uh, and then in 2016, it was a, a crash of our computer system. And uh, in both cases, uh, it had this incredibly detrimental effect on the business where we almost went out of business. And um, I'd say the good part about that w was a number of things. Number one, uh, it gave me an opportunity to really dig deep, to pray, and to ask for guidance and then uh, look and see what doors we're gonna open. But uh, it's, you stay patient, you stay persistent, you do the daily things that you know are gonna lead to success. And in the case of X39, we had put in, like you say, it was about 10 years of research. We had started at the National University of Ireland. Uh, we had been doing the stem cell research. We were working with Dr. Norm Sheely doing stem cell research on uh, regenerating damaged nerves. We're working with De Glenn, uh, Dr. Glenn Ryan, doing this in vitro work on stem cells. And uh, the, the main problem uh, that I was encountering was that the equipment to activate the stem cells was extremely expensive and it could only be used in a hospital. And so I had to think about how can we make this available to everybody, do it inexpensively, do it in a way that's completely safe and uh, 
X39 was born at a, a time in the company when it was going through an enormous struggle. So I think you know the takeaway on this is some incredibly beautiful, great things come out of some of the darkest times. What I love about that is that you've proven that you can go through those kind of struggles to all of us. And, you know, none of us have to get so uh, nervous and jump so quickly. But we got to just stick and fight to what we know that we could win at. And when you got someone that's a fighter like that that's gone through it, imagine uh, the kind of uh, already in the, what the strategy and the experience is what I'm looking for. If you've already got that experience, you don't have to uh, think, have it come up again. You want to be following and teaming up with a partner like that. Am I right? Yeah. All right. So thanks for, uh, for, for fighting through it. We wouldn't have this. It's a fine line. You know, when we talk about if someone didn't talk to somebody, you might not be in this room. Well, if he didn't push through, we wouldn't have the opportunity. Okay? Thank you. All right? I got a question for you because I talk about this all the time. And I just, maybe this is something that I missed or didn't hear from you in the past. But... Imagine the genius. I call you a genius every time I'm speaking. Every night when I'm showing the plan, everyone hears me, right? The genius of taking the light from your body. Because until I really heard of the X39, I don't even know I got, I mean, of course I've heard of night vision goggles, but I never really thought of this. And, uh, and to make that light mirror back and work, I mean, where did that come from? Is that something for years you've been doing? What, how did this come about for you? Yeah, well, I mean, first of all, God created us this way, right? So this is a matter of saying, um, how, how does the human body work? And there's nothing wrong with the biochemical model of the human body. It's quite valid. So when we want to look at how hormones are produced, mitochondrial function, how is energy produced in the body, the biochemical system, that's all valid, and we need to understand those things. But there's another layer which is on top of that. So in uh, the late 1960s or so, uh, Dr. Becker, uh, who wrote a book called The Body Electric, he was looking at how the electrical systems in the body control the biochemistry. Uh, but there's actually another layer above that, which is, of course is biophotons. And uh, this was discovered by Fritz Popp around the 1970s. And uh, it, so it's very simple, these observations we can see, uh, which will mimic things that we can learn if, if we read the Bible regularly. We can see that this is all about light. And you take human cells, animal cells, plant cells, you put them in a room that's completely dark, you use a device called a photomultiplier tube, and you can measure highly coherent pulses of light coming off of these uh, living cells. And what's interesting is that we can correlate a person's biological age to biophoton emission meaning that this is a marker now uh, because what we're doing, of course, in our lab is looking at how can we stop and reverse human aging. One of the markers is to look at how is light emitted from the cells and how can we Im improve upon that. So the, I think the first thing is with, is with observation, how does the human body really work? Uh, the second thing is that uh, in the military, they've been using light for communication for many, many decades. You take light, you modulate it, and you encode information onto it. So when I had this opportunity uh, in the 90s to work on this project, I thought, okay, we've got satellite communications, we've got cell phones, how can we uh, build a device that can communicate with the human body? Let's do it with light because that's how the human body is working and how, it's, how it was designed. Amazing, thank you. I mean, isn't that incredible? Wow. Can you explain a little bit the science behind X39? Sure. So light is a master control system in the body. And uh, if we use our nervous system first as an example, we can think about doing something like moving our hands and arms, and that electrical impulse will travel through our body, it'll cause muscle contractions, and of course there has to be energy present for all of that to occur. What's so interesting is that there was uh, work done by a scientist in California by the name of Joey Jones, and he was stimulating um, an acupuncture point on the big toe, 
And in acupuncture, this is known as a point that improves vision. So he had a hypothesis about this, and he found that when you would stimulate this point on the toe with light, it would, uh, using a functional MRI, you could measure that this would light up the visual cortex. Now, how people thousands of years ago, how they knew that, you know, that's something else entirely. Um, but what he found was that the light signal through the meridian, and the acupuncture meridian is a collagen string that has minerals attached to it, um, that this would travel about 200 times faster than the electri electrical signaling through the nervous system. So we need to understand that the way that we were created was that light is going to initiate all the biochemical changes in the body. And the common example is we go out in the sun and light will cause our body to make vitamin D or whatever else. So uh, the LifeWave patches uh, contain a blend of natural materials. They're stereoisomers of amino acids and sugars. And they're processed in a very specific way so that they, when they're activated by body heat, they will stimulate the skin with very low levels of light. With X39, we wanna do two things. Uh, the first thing, is we wanna upregulate mitochondrial function. So when uh, the patch stimulates the skin with light, it will increase an enzyme in the cell called cytochrome C oxidase. This will in turn upregulate fat burning in the cell. And there's a signal that turns on production of GHKCU copper peptide. And uh, of course, this in turn uh, provides the body with all of these health and wellness benefits. So, the patch is activated by body heat, stimulates the skin with light, and increases the body's levels of copper peptide. Amazing. Can you give us a little insight on your research and trials that you know, prove that the X39 works? Yeah, so we fortunately had a very broad foundation of clinical studies. We uh, started doing clinical studies about 2003. And uh, at first, uh, the studies were designed just to see, uh, the, this was the energy patches, of course, were these patches gonna improve people's strength, stamina, and other measures? And uh, we used a variety of different techniques. We used uh, something called a capnometer, VO2 max. We used indirect calorimetry. Uh, we used devices to measure the flow of energy through the body. Uh, later on, as uh, I developed uh, new products, we were doing blood testing, urine testing to measure the uh, metabolism. Um, we used EEG, something called an electroacuscope, medical infrared imaging. We used a whole variety of different uh, techniques. So we had this as a baseline of researchers that we were working with and also different techniques where we knew that we could measure effects. So uh, the first thing that we wanted to do with X39 was a blood test because it was either gonna elevate copper peptide or not. And uh, the problem was that the blood test didn't exist. Uh, so we had to work with two separate uh, laboratories in California and we had to create uh, a blood test. And uh, we did that. We worked with a very talented uh, PhD in uh, San Diego and uh, they were able to create this and measure levels of GHK and GHKCU. Uh, we then set up a pilot test with 10 people. We did it and every single person, we saw an improvement in copper peptide levels. Uh, from there, then we started to set up larger tests. We did our double blind studies. Uh, we did a study uh, with Dr. Brian Daly at a hospital in uh, Rochester, New York. Uh, we we're measuring copper peptide uh, and then we did urine studies to show what benefits people would get from wearing X39, what changes in metabolism. So the bottom line with that was that we saw that within 24 hours of putting the patch on the body, that levels of copper peptide would go up about 30 to 40%. Uh, we also saw within the first 24 hours that there were dramatic changes in the metabolism. So the ability of the body to synthesize production of uh, different hormones uh, off of amino acids, that went up dramatically and that was measurable. And uh, yeah, so the bottom line is people use the patch, maybe some people feel it, some people don't, 
but the blood and urine tests show that people respond to it. Wow. wow. So if anyone has, which comes up many times when you're talking to people and they have no idea or have any kind of insight of somebody that's got over 150 plus patents, uh, there you know, might be their brother-in-law, for instance, that says, you know, I tried the patch, I tried the X39, and I didn't feel anything. What would you say to someone like that? Yeah, well, you know, for many people, this is no different than taking vitamins, and you're not necessarily going to feel, uh, let's say, a B vitamin, but you know that it's good for your body. What I would encourage people to do is a few things. Uh, first, before they start using the patches, they should take a self-assessment and get a pretty good idea of how do I feel? Am I getting tired in the afternoon? Do I have aches and pains? And then they'll see one week, three weeks later that their body is changing. They're sleeping better, they're feeling better. Uh, maybe some of their aches and pains are gone. Uh, they should take a before after photo. So take a picture of themselves before they start using the product. And then, uh, you know, some of the really obvious things is that if people are heavy smokers, they're heavy drinkers, uh, they're relying on pharmaceutical drugs, maybe their diet's not very good, uh, they're not going to notice maybe the benefits as much as somebody that's getting a healthy diet and exercising regularly. So it's really important that uh, we build up a strong foundation uh, of those principles so we can have the best health possible. Would you say there's a percentage of people uh, that have done those tests you said, what percentage is getting results of everyone that you do the tests on approximately? Yeah, it'll vary from one product to another, but let's say it's about in the 90, 95% range. Wow. Uh, what we see is that on the bioelectrical level, it's about 96%. Hmm. So when we uh, apply, uh, let's say something like the ice wave patch to the body, it's 96% of, of the population, we can see a change in the uh, bioelectrical conductivity of the tissue. And we measure this with something called an electroacuscope. Uh, we also use a device called a biopulsar and a MENLA scan. So, it, but in any case, somebody, let's say they have pain, they have inflammation, you apply the patches, 96% responders. Uh, wow. That 4% uh, can be a variety of things. That could be a deficiency of potassium, deficiency of magnesium, usually comes down to deficiency in electrolytes uh, where those signals can't transfer through the body. Um, in other cases, if, if someone was a vegan and they weren't getting enough uh, glycine or lysine or copper in their diet, they weren't getting enough leucine, which would be a really good example, uh, they may not notice some changes. Uh, so let's say that someone was using X39 and X49 together, uh, they were exercising and uh, they weren't seeing any results. Well, they, it may be something as simple as they're not getting enough protein in their diet or maybe the quality of their protein doesn't include enough of the amino acid leucine to turn on mTOR. So the patches are there as a signal mechanism, but it's so important that people have a healthy diet to complement that. So he's basically 96% of the people are seeing results using the X39 and the product. So that's, you, I mean, 4% of the population, they're probably getting something, but they just need to do a little tweaking, but that's a lot of percentage. I mean, that's incredible. Uh, okay, well, teaser alert. Uh, the next product we're coming out with, it's 100%. Wow. Jane. Jane. Thank you, my friend. All right, let's talk a little bit about future, about what's happening right now, kind of real quick as we're going through this. Tell them a little bit about what you see as far as the growth of the This Is It team, what's happening here. Have you seen some excitement, some volume, some momentum? What do you want to say to these folks here? Oh my God, thank you so much. Uh, you guys are absolutely amazing. Number one team in the world. Number one team in the world.
What's exciting is they are humbled because you've got this technology that they've been able to uh, uh, change their lives with. I mean, yeah. both physically and financially. Yeah. When yeah. we talk to our friends, obviously, you know, whether they're new or whether they're down in depth, we hear a, a, a emotional testimony first of their health, and then they're coming to us not long later because it's such an incredible, t and the momentum that we have here in tears over what it's doing for their finances, because we believe more people are praying nowadays for their finances than even for their health. So this yeah. is really blessing them. Would you agree? Oh, absolutely. Uh, and we're just getting started. So <laughs> the... Uh, <laughs> The, the vision that I have for <laughs> the, uh, the, the vision that I have for this company is very different than uh, maybe what other network marketing companies have done. Um, we're making the shift in our branding from being a patch company to being a life technology company. And um, we're actually going a step further beyond this and really branding ourselves as a technology company. And uh, the reason for this is that in our labs, we've been able to uh, develop new tech that doesn't exist anyplace else and is going to give us some enormous opportunities. So in, in the coming years, uh, w what you're going to see at the conference in Dallas in October um, <laughs> is um, we're, we're not launching a new product. We're launching a new technology. And there's going to be a product that comes from this technology, but it's the first one of many. So what you're going to see is that this technology opens up the door to uh, products that we can release over the next seven to 10 years. And uh, none of these products exist in the market today. Uh, I've already received two patents on the technology, so LifeWave will be the only company that has this. Okay, I, I know the answer to this question, but I wanna have it just for that, there's a lot of new people here, so I wanna have you answer this question for us. But a lot of these uh, friends of mine and new friends have uh, put their heart into companies, uh, building a business like this and network marketing, and they've been let down. The owners have sold out, uh, public companies have shut down the MLM portion after they, they put years of leaving their families. So our question to you is, would you, in the near future, as we approach a half a billion dollar company, are you thinking at all about selling or changing the model of our, of our business? Uh, well, you know, I don't think of myself as a genius, but it doesn't take a genius to realize that when you've got a good thing, you should probably hold on to it, right? Uh, <laughs> so, um, yeah, no, this is, this is really pretty simple. A actually, uh, we're on target to do uh, just over 600 million this year. Um, so, I called it. So, uh, yeah, and um, no, it, I, I've been doing this now, of course. This is 22 years. Actually, last Saturday was our 22nd year anniversary, July 13th. Um, yeah, and August 13th is uh, the 20th anniversary where I started LifeWave, the network marketing company, uh, but we celebrated on uh, November, November 10th. Um, yeah, no, I'm, I have no interest in selling or stopping at this point. Uh, but what I do have an interest in is uh, now that we have this uh, phenomenal growth, is looking at how can we secure that growth and expand our opportunities. So uh, two years ago uh, at conference, I unveiled this new drone technology that we have. And uh, that has opened up an, a number of incredible doors. Just to give you an idea, by the year 2030, uh, communication platforms using drones will be a $200 billion a year industry. And uh, we have, we're getting ready uh, to break the world record in drone flight. So there's nobody that has a technology like this. And uh, so the type of things that I think about is how can we apply this and uh, create a network marketing company that the world has never seen before. 
and this is all about technology to improve the quality of human life in a number of uh, very significant ways. I love that. It's amazing. <laughs> With all the growth that's happening right now, Gina kind of was mentioning it earlier that we'd you know, get some more robots. I remember Gina's first question when she met you, can you keep up with us? I mean, we haven't had a hiccup on the logistics, thanks to Coleman and yourself, since we uh, started. Uh, do you see, your, are you, is your team ramping up? Are they getting ready for this tidal wave that's happening? How are we looking as, as the future? Are we ready and prepared? I know we got a new building, being a grand, grand opening of that. Tell them a little bit about the future. Yeah, so actually, uh, we're going to be taking on about another uh, 70,000 to 100,000 square feet of manufacturing uh, in Ireland. Uh, today, we can support a company doing uh, $1.8 billion a year. So we haven't even uh, come close to maxing out our manufacturing facilities. Um, but what we're going to be doing is uh, investing in another piece of equipment uh, so that we can take that up to about 2.4 billion a year. And that equipment will go online in 2026. Uh, so yeah, at, th at this point, um, we have some great partners in the industry that we've worked with to create uh, fully automated equipment. Uh, and this equipment actually um, requires now only two people to operate. And everything, you put the raw materials in on one side, you have two operators and then the finished uh, patches and envelopes comes out the other side. Wow. And it, it's very high speed. So uh, the good thing now is uh, there, we don't have any type of impediment to our growth on the manufacturing side. Wow. So every, every, uh, our, the, the patches are all made with our own company. We, we do our own manufacturing, correct? Yeah, um, with LifeWave, the, I'll start with an idea on something, and I have a phenomenal group of engineers that I work with. So we'll take something, and then we'll create a model of this in a computer. And uh, we'll look at this, and then, you know, depending on what it is, uh, we can uh, test that, that thing or device in the computer, and then start doing prototyping and uh, fabrication. Uh, the next thing that we do is uh, we'll perform the clinical studies, we'll file the patents to make sure everything that we do is exclusive to LifeWave. And uh, then we want to control the manufacturing process. So in the case of uh, the patches, one of the reasons why we have been so successful with this is that we control the supply chain. Um, if we, at, at the volumes that we're doing, if we had to rely on another company, I think it'd be a disaster. So um, I'm, I feel that we're really blessed that we have all of this in-house and we're doing this ourselves. Yeah. 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 Okay, as we grow, we, uh, are, we, we, we always get copycats. People try to say they have the same. Gene and I and our friends have experienced this before. Everybody says we got the same exact patch or it's better, or it's better than X39. And they always gotta use X39 or LifeWave because they gotta compare it because they know we've got the number one fastest growing company, but they are they sound very convincing, sometimes to the newest person. You know, some of us that have been in, we've heard, heard you and we're confident saying, no, you're not even close. But can you tell everybody else that might be newer here, what, is anyone even close to the technology we have? Do they have any of the same? So that we're confident when we're out talking to people that we have the best and, mo and only technology like this. Yeah, I mean, we've been at this now over 20 years and so far no one has been able to knock off the technology. So that, you know, that says quite a bit. Um, and I think there's always gonna be people that say, hey, you know, I have this product, this is what it does. There's always gonna be some competition in the marketplace, but, uh, with our product, I don't see it. I don't see anybody doing anything remotely similar. Um, the other things that have been on the market have been like holographic disks and these kind of things. Uh, those things were proven to be scams. Um, and even I think if some legitimate product does come on the market, um, we've got so much in place on clinical studies, on research, on the manufacturing, the global infrastructure that we've built that um, I don't see any competitor getting any type of hold on what it is that we're doing. Uh, so it, it wouldn't really be something I'd be worried about.
Okay, we got another question, and I know your philosophy, but I just want to have my friends hear it because sometimes when I'm talking about you, it's great to hear it from you in person than me explaining it. Uh, but I know your philosophy about having products being dumped on eBay or on Walmart or Marketplace. Uh, and I know your philosophy, and I know that you are going after these people, um, and you don't. Tell us your philosophy, because I know if you don't have the philosophy, if your philosophy is, I don't allow this, that's what you want your owner to be. Right. Now we just have to go through it, and some of these people are harder to get to, am I right? And you are, your, your, your goal is to eliminate them, you just have to go through the process. Yeah, I mean, this is really simple. We manufacture products for LifeWave brand partners, period. And we manufacture products for our distribution channel, period. Uh, so after that, uh, it's really a matter of dealing with places like eBay and Amazon and uh, getting their cooperation and shutting them down. Um, so we do have a legal team. We do have a compliance department. Uh, we have made, uh, we've had seven subpoenas of eBay uh, to, to shut them down. Um, so we do, we take this really seriously and uh, because we do want to protect our opportunity. Yeah. And I've walked into meetings where I have distributors crying to me that their kids or friends got uh, suspended. I'm not saying terminated, but, you know, suspended. And they say, can you help me? And I'm like, well, I'm the guy telling David to terminate. <laughs> and, and, and big fines, right? We talk about this. So uh, it's hard for me to call Mulligan or tell him, hey, it's okay. Uh, but usually the ones that are like this, they can be found easy. It's the ones that are being the professionals or they really know what they're doing that it's difficult to get. And when you talk legally, it takes some time. Would you agree? The legal process uh, in this country is uh, really frustrating, you know, on a number of different levels. In some other countries, yeah. Uh, we don't want to go down that road, right? Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, in some other countries, uh, I think, uh, especially in Europe, it, it's uh, actually, I think, much, much easier um, because if you file a lawsuit against someone, um, that person has to pay for your legal fees. You know, not so over here in the U.S. If the U.S. adopted that system, it would be, of course, much, much better. There would be less litigation. More people would have an incentive to do the right thing. Um, yeah, but so all this means is that, yeah, sometimes the wheels of justice, they turn a little bit slow, but applying the constant pressure, uh, then I think is, is really the way forward. Great, great. We appreciate that, don't we? Yeah. Right? Okay, uh, is there anything else that you'd like to say to the This Is It team here as far as what they've been doing and where we're going and let them know uh, your gratitude and where we want to make this, take this Tell company? <laughs> Well, I mean, the first thing is um, thank you for all of the hard work and the time that you're putting in yeah. to build this company because your work is changing people's lives for the better every single day. And it's, it's truly extraordinary to be a part of this. Um, we really are just getting started. Uh, I'm going to take several hours at the conference in Dallas and uh, walk you through the uh, research that I've been doing the last six years. And uh, you're gonna see five new clinical studies uh, that, we've d that we've done that we haven't unveiled yet. And um, this is going to open up a, a new era of opportunity in the business and uh, a new way that we look at things and a new way that we can offer healing to people. Um, the name of our conference is called Be The Light. And that is uh, going to be much more than maybe a metaphor or a slogan. There's actually a deeper meaning behind it. And um, so we have an extraordinary opportunity before us. I don't have to tell you that the world is really in a very, very strange place now. And uh, this country especially uh, has become very divided. And uh, I think what I would say is, I'm not gonna give you a message of unity. What I would rather say is that, actually the Bible is, is a book about division. Um, the Bible is a book that talks about separating the wheat from the tares, the good from the evil. 
And it's very important that, that we as a community stay unified uh, and that we be a beacon of hope, that we be a light on a hill and we show people that there is uh, that there's a better way and that if we embrace this love in our hearts and we be a light to others, uh, that this world that we live in can be truly amazing place where there doesn't have to be the level of suffering uh, that there is, uh, but we just need to turn to God and look for that guidance and offer up our lives for others. Hey, David, we want to let you know that we are humbled to be here with you today. We really appreciate you being here, and I will say that uh, even though this team, as you say, is the fastest growing team, we are humble to be part of it. My wife Gina told our leaders the other day that we're praying for all the leaders and all the organizations in LifeWave because we want everyone to win and succeed. It's not just about this team. So we're humble and we're not... We, we, want to make, we want to make sure we stay that way and not forget where we came from. And we appreciate you coming here and just sharing from your heart today. Is everyone, could I get everyone to really show and let everyone know how blessed you are today that the owner, the inventor, David Schmidt, shared with you. Y'all make some noise for your founder, David Schmidt. Oh yeah, this is it team. Was that amazing? He's talking all about you and this is it team guys and the, the business. <laughs> we are just crushing it guys. This is an amazing, valuable tool for you to share, share, share with everyone. This is your credibility right here. Guys, last month, the This Is It team broke nine elite yes. senior presidential directors in one month. We do not want you to miss the momentum that is happening with this team. So make sure you take advantage of what's going on and what David just shared with you. Again, if you miss Believe Convention, you can watch and attend the, the All Rise Up, All Virtual Convention happening January 10th and 11th, broadcast out of Las Vegas, and we are gonna start your 2025 strong, breaking into the new year on a fast track. Make sure you've got in, everyone on your team attending this incredible event. Absolutely, guys. Hey, we'll see you at Rise Up, and we are in it to win it for you. I believe.